Put those hands together for Simon Cato! Hi, my name is Simon Cadell, and I am way too young to be here. <laughs> Some people think I'm a midget. Um, I, I'm very flattered, but I'm a small person, not a little person. <laughs> but I mean, seriously though, I learned more here than three years of sex ed. <laughs> education experience was my parents. That was really creepy. <laughs> but, but it was. My parents were very straight. Me. Some people tried to censor it and all, but they were very straight. Me. They were like, Simon, we need to talk. When a mommy and daddy love each other very much, nine months later, a baby appears. But they're also very progressive, too. They're also like, when a mommy and mommy or a daddy and daddy love each other very much, two years later, a little Asian girl appears. <laughs> sex ed, like at my school. And a lot of sex really worked, not hugging as I so previously thought. It, it's kind of close, but not at all. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I think I know everything now. Then they start performing at comedy clubs. And I learned that I knew nothing. I learned things I didn't know, I learned things that I shouldn't know. Thanks to everyone else, I learned things I didn't think were possible. <laughs> yeah, so vacation's over, aww. I had a really great vacation though. I went to a family resort in Vermont. The vacation was great. It was just a car ride I didn't like. Cause my mom packs the car like we're fleeing from the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, people? And, and it's a seven hour drive to Vermont. And for those of you who have never been on a car trip, every hour, it's kind of like dog years. <laughs> like, every hour is a day. So by the time we got to the resort, I already spent a week with these people. And, and like, family resort, I want to see these people. What is this? That's why they have so many activities for kids so you can escape. It's like, oh, cool, a teens club. Sorry, Dad, you look really creepy in here. Go back to watching Little League. <laughs> yeah. The only family togetherness thing we did the entire week we were there was we went to a state fair. This was a Vermont state fair. It was awesome, because New England rednecks know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so for those of you who have never been to a state fair, picture a carnival on steroids. <laughs> like I think the motto of all state fairs should be, fry food comes in, fry food comes out. <laughs> They'll fry anything, and they like fried chicken, fried dough. I swear to God, this happened. Fried Oreos. <laughs> Yes, those exist. <laughs> Only to find out, and I, I, I this is completely true, that they get these pigs to run by coaxing them with Oreo cookies. <laughs> no, not, 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 the, not the fried ones, plain Oreo cookies. Like, not even double stuff. <laughs> like, when I was eating these fried Oreos, I was like, I eat like a pig. No, I don't. <laughs> Pig race, not only have gone to a pig race, 
before, but they came back. <laughs> and started looking up nursery rhymes. Some of them are kind of morbid, actually. Like, right around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Posy, thing, though, was a supposed cure for the black plague that failed miserably. Right around the rosy, pocket full of posy, ashes, ashes, we all die slowly and painfully. Well, that didn't make the final cut. Mary had a little lamp. Seen this one? One of the lions is, the lamp followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. Rule. <laughs> Singular! <laughs> this school only has one rule. And that's rule. No legs. <laughs> Cow good, pig good, bone structure good, lamb. <laughs> Unacceptable! <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm done. I, I really don't have a life. I, to being a nerd, and the pretentious arrogance of being a hipster. <laughs> and it kind of morphs that together into an abomination of personality traits. <laughs> so me and my nerdster friends have many, many debates over topical issues, like wedgies versus having your milk money stolen, <laughs> and my personal favorite, Batman versus Superman. My opinion is probably very clear. <laughs> The savior of Gotham City. Yeah. Thank you, I'm Simon 